It is a special edition of USMMA Women's Lacrosse live on the USMMA Sports Network as we are live from the Tomb Memorial Field for the semifinal round of the Skyline Conference Women's Lacrosse Tournament. And glad you could join us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Zach Wilson, and we got a nice semifinal game in action as the USMMA Mariners, the two seed in the tournament, taking on the three seed Farmingdale State Rams for the second time this season. Should go inside. She'll go quickly inside. McGrath played around. Has to go back out to Callens Root. She's inside. She shoots. She scores. She scores. Adelphi wins in double overtime. Christina Callens Root. Draw control battle still looking about even. USMMA still leads at 6 to 5. Pass that gets nearly turned over. Right to turn team on the back. You gotta be kidding me. USMMA could look to have some numbers here. They find Coughlin. They have a little more. Goes inside. Here's Jablonowski. Fakes and scores! And Jablonowski ties her season high with her fifth goal of the game. And now it's a double-digit lead for USMMA. Here we come out of the timeout. 9-0-1 left to go in the first quarter. And USMMA has scored the last four goals after Ashley Cotaspoti began this game with a draw control win and a quick goal against... Amber Heverly afterwards. But after that, USMMA was able to show why they have been dominant over Farmingdale State the last few years. And the ground ball. Ball is still loose between Diamond and Sheedy. And the refs will blow a whistle. It'll be against Sheedy for the contact she had, so Megan Diamond will win the faceoff. The draw control, rather. Faceoffs are known in men's lacrosse. USMMA men's lacrosse had their game on Tuesday against Farmingdale State in their Skyline Conference semifinal, a game that went down to the wire. And after last year, when USMMA lost to Farmingdale State in double overtime, they were able to make a full redemption and win that battle 11 to 9. They'll be the ones taking on SUNY Maritime tomorrow night. And we'll see if whether or not USMMA on the women's side will do the same thing. Megan Gass was able to force that turnover, and she gives it right over to Sheedy that she gets quickly in the zone, and here's Russo to the top shelf. What a nice response after allowing Farmingdale State to be on offense. Nicole Megan Gass plays her defense strong. She gives it over to Sheedy, who in turn finds Russo to knock it in for her first goal of the game. Again, the passes that USMMA has been able to pull off, sometimes they look like they can be a little off, but other than that, it seems like more often they're able to get the connection down well. The team continues to establish great chemistry. And already, all five shots on goal for USMMA have all made it past Riley. It's been really tough for her to try and be the same player that she was on Tuesday when she was a brick wall against Mount St. Mary. Look dominant in that game, but this is a whole different team that she has to play. I was hoping that she would find an answer against USMMA after she gave up 19 goals to them on April 4th. But it doesn't really look like things have changed for her this time because the offense is still being very dominant. For USMMA, they are hoping to try and keep this going because when they face, because if they face off against SUNY Maritime on Saturday, they're hoping that they can show a little more offense than they did a few weeks ago. Getting shut out in the fourth quarter by the privateers was not what USMMA intended. Spoiled their chance to try and go perfect in conference play, and there's another turnover forced by Nagengast. That's her second of the game. She comes into this contest with 28 cost turnovers on the year, and now she matches the ground ball pickups. So here's Jablonowski, who already picked up her eighth hat trick on the year, but she won't look to score that quickly. Again, the three goals that she has scored already in his first quarter is as much as she averages this season. Her season high was, on, was against Manhattanville on the first when she had five. And that's usually because USMMA always looks very dominant at the start, and then they cool down a little bit later on as they have a dominant lead afterwards. They have shown that for most of this season. It's been quite an interesting season for the Mariners, having another impressive overall record. 12-2, they enter with a 7-1 conference record. 
Jablonowski nearly draws a double team. She finds her way inside, tries a shot, and it's deflected by Riley. And she finally picks up her first save of the game for Farmingdale State.